So hello guys, uh, welcome to another video and uh, today I'll be looking at again another video about the Acer Predator Helios where I ran into some issues uh, with the NVMe drive uh, this one is particular uh, and not that the drive has a problem the drive is okay I uh, by mistake uh, well probably not by mistake but one screw was uh, stuck So as you can see, this is the back side of the Acer Predator Helios. There are 10 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have already removed most of the screws. Um, I would advise you use a good screwdriver set as cheap ones will probably strip the screw so take your time while removing the screws gently sure that all the screws have uh, come out you simply nudge it from here okay you can see it lifts up slowly take your time then from the sides make sure you disconnect the battery gently I've learned the hard way After you've uh, disconnected the battery, there are two slots. This is one NVMe drive, the pre installed one, 256GB SSD. The second one is the one which is free. There is the hard disk slot. The the heat sink and the cover for the NVMe behind there is as you can see this to spread out it's a, it, it's access a heat sink
and then there is a screw there is a screw there this one you unscrew it now this is where the problem came can you see here this screw wouldn't come out it would it was stuck i had quite a challenge this was such a snag which isn't supposed to happen but as you can see the screw is stripped and no way i could remove it i tried different screw heads i tried the rubber band method uh, even putting super glue now the only other options were drilling which i wasn't going to do uh, or a dremel which i don't have but there was an easy solution which i'll just show you So this screw isn't a strip, the only the other one uh, is. So insert it. I inserted it and then make sure this aligns. like so and then you need to put the screw so I have aligned the NVMe drive and the hook for lack of a better word and screwed the one the screw which isn't tight I don't know what I made probably this screw from factory is uh, stuck or has been stripped or uh, threads uh, or put in too tight but it wouldn't come off tried several methods so this way it has gone through so make sure you have the you have good tools and the right screwdriver otherwise you may thread uh, you may strip a screw and it's it's a nightmare uh, removing it make sure you reconnect uh, the battery so then eventually return the case starting from here push it in ever so gently do not use a lot of force so once the case is in make sure everything is in and then return screw back all the screws do it gently I've learned the hard way. So here it is, all assembled. Now the second issue I faced was uh, after I installed, there was a uh, blue screen, uh, rather a black screen, so it wouldn't, wouldn't boot into Windows. 
so so what I did was to go into the BIOS by pressing the F2 key and then I just saved and exited and voila it's now in into Windows Okay. So when it successfully boots into Windows, you need to go and right click your start button and go into disk management. And uh, as you can see, this is the one uh, I have gone ahead and named it silicon power but what you need to do is you right click and then there is the menu uh, um, sorry I've already done this so the menu is different but what will come up is uh, new simple volume you click on simple volume and then let it format and then your drive is available so as you can see the one terabyte is here there it is so what was supposed to be an easy job turned out to be a small nightmare but eventually I solved the issue and now the uh, is recognizable I also updated it to the latest BIOS 1.08 as of this moment this is the then there's the this 256 GB that comes standard with this SKU So I hope this has been informative and in case of any questions uh, don't hesitate to comment please like and subscribe thank you for watching